All right, something a little different tonight. Not your usual, uh, I guess, uh, shoot tonight. We're not going out to shoot the uh, you know, Milky Way. Uh, tonight, it's something a little bit more, um, which I'm finding out a little bit more stressful. Um, the full moon's out, so definitely no Milky Way shots, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm shooting the moon, but it's gonna be a little different uh, tonight at approximately 1.25 and to be precise, four seconds, the International Space Station will pass across the face of this moon. Uh, it's not full, uh, full moon was last night, but it's pretty much full. Um, uh, it's only early, I've gotten here fairly early anyway. I wanna make sure that I've got all my cameras set up and everything's dialed in perfectly. I've, uh, uh, yeah, I've got a bit of a setup. I've got, I'm doing stills as well as video. Um, so if I can, if I don't get to see it with my photos and nail the shot, I'll have uh, at least have some video of it, hopefully. Um, but it's uh, there's so much uh, room for error, and um, yeah, it's it's, it's stressful. I'm, I can't can't lie. <laughs> um, there's a good chance I'll walk away tonight with nothing, so. But, yeah, moon's directly up, so that's not making life easy, either, setting up these cameras. It's, uh, I've got my cameras pretty much on the biggest 45 degree angle you've ever seen. Um, but, um, yeah, let's, uh, we'll take you around what I've got set up, and, uh, we'll have a bit of a chat about that. Alrighty, as you can see, um, it's nice to be able to park so close to where I'm able to shoot. Uh, I found myself a nice concrete area too, in the middle of nowhere, which is nice. Um, a bit hard to lie down on, as you can see, I have to lie down to, to get the shot. Got the tripods, both this one and that one over there on the nice angle to get the moon. Um, but I can get it. Uh, my first setup for stills is my 5D. Got the 5D hooked up to uh, the Tamron 150 to 600, uh, aka the M Moon Bazooka. But uh, yep, there's a there's a, a awesome uh, guy that I follow on YouTube, Mr. Alan Wallace. He has trademarked that name, but um, I'm borrowing it. And but I've gone the little extra. I've got the 1.4 converter. So I've got the 1.4 converter, 150 600 on my full frame. Uh, it's pretty much I think just over just over 900 mil. Is it over 900 mil? Yeah, just over 900 mil. I'm pretty sure, or just on it. Uh, but yeah, zoomed in. I don't fill the frame with the moon with this guy, but it leaves me some uh, leaves me some room around the moon. So because uh, when you zoomed right in on it, it starts to move pretty fast in frame. So yeah, that's the. Uh, the main setup for stills. I'll have mirror lockup and I'll be holding down that trigger doing six frames a second. And uh, I just did the test on the buffer. Oh, so that's right, sorry, I should mention I'm shooting in JPEGs as well. Um, I usually always shoot raw, but in this case, uh, not too much editing will be had with these photos other than possibly just stacking images. So JPEGs are going to be fine. Uh, and because I've got JPEGs, my the buffer will be uh, pretty good, so I can just rattle off as many photos as I need to get the shot. And uh, for the video work, I've got the Nikon P900 on loan from Nikon. Um, uh, if, if anyone does know anything about this camera, it's a beast. It's a point and shoot, but it's a beast. It's the equivalent of 24 to 2,000 millimeter lens, 16 megapixel little sensor. Now, when you use this guy to zoom in on the moon at 2,000 mil, you fill the frame of the <laughs> fill the frame with moon, nothing but moon. And even when you go into video mode, it crops that a little bit more. So, yeah, it's, I have to, I can't even use the full 2,000 mil. I actually have to back it off a bit when I'm doing the video. But um, yeah, when you've zoomed in at 2000 mil, um, yeah, the moon is definitely moving fast across the frame. So, I just had some practice runs. I've uh, done a bit of video already on it. 
and um, yeah hopefully if I can set this up for about a minute of video to try and capture either side of the of the uh, of a was it 125 in the morning hopefully I can get some video of it uh, shooting across the moon if I can't get the stills and uh, yeah then I guess the uh, plan is then to maybe try and grab a frame from one of those video from videos video frames so oh we'll see what happens I'll keep playing around and setting up and doing some test stuff and uh, fingers crossed and when we get a bit closer we'll, we'll get we'll get the uh, International Space Station ship across one I've uh, got my watches all synced to uh, I guess the time the, from the internet um, so as, as close as I can get to what the website uh, transitfinder.com can tell me when the uh, International Space Station is going to pass by so fingers crossed that the timing is uh, pretty much accurate um, I'm probably gonna start you know, fair few seconds before it's due to cross and uh, yeah I'm just gonna fill that buffer on my camera it's gonna hold it down and hold it down and hope to God I get to capture it so okay hopefully the next time you see me on camera now will be when I'm telling you that I got the shot fingers crossed seconds to go this is it everyone cross your fingers cross everything five four three two one ever got it. That was intense. Oh. I should have started scrolling through my photos from the beginning, not from the end. I was starting to think I didn't get the shot, but I got it. I can't believe it actually worked. There you go. Set your time to the time on the internet. Look at Transit Finder, come to the spot where they say, and boom, 
Bob's your uncle. Oh. Jeez, the adrenaline's up. But I'm pumped. Can't wait to look at the video, even from the P900. Surely that means I got it as well, so. Although I, I don't really care about the video, to be honest, I've got the photos. So, I wish I had a faster camera that did 10, 10 frames a second. We'll have at least gotten the, uh, the International Space Station f at least five times across the moon, but I got it three frames, so it's pretty much what I ex ex expected, considering that my camera is six frames a second and it was only going to be lasting for about 0.5 of a second across the moon, so there you go. I did it. It's awesome. On that note, if you like this uh, this video, you know, give it a like. Uh, any questions, leave comments down below. But if you want to see some more stuff like this, hit subscribe. I'm done. I'm going to bed. See you next time.